Hello there, it's Paul at Rove in Mansfield. Today's walk around video is on our eldest AutoQuest 140. This is a 2010 model with just under 43,000 miles. It's two berth and two belt. It's based on the Peugeot chassis, 2.2. It weighs uh, 3,300 kilograms, so it can be drove on a standard license. It's 6.3 meters in length and 2.3 wide. It's a right hand drive diesel, five speed manual gearbox. So I'm going to walk around the outside of the vehicle first of all, point out anything of note, and then we'll do the same on the inside. So to go around, I've just noticed one thing that we'll rectify prior to collection. It's just, we need to look at the ceiling here. Other than that, the front of the vehicle is absolutely fine. And we'll just go down this side, we have got your toilet cassette, your boiler cover, and there's an external aerial socket there. And then we have your water pump, storage locker where your habitation battery is and your hookup and your gas storage around the back of the vehicle we've got a bike rack that's set up for two bikes down here there's a tow bar there is a rear camera this has just come off so we just need to reattach it as part of our vehicle prep around this side we've got an awning along the top entrance to the vehicle is via an electric step and we have got an extra security lock on the door as well. Just one thing I've noticed, they are sat, it is sat on some nice alloy wheels as well. We go into the cab next. So you can see the upholstery is nice and clean, in good condition. This st aftermarket stereo does have Bluetooth on it. And there's a rear camera at the end as well. We go into the vehicle, give you an overview of the cab from the inside. We've got electric windows and electrically adjustable mirrors in this one as well, giving you a front to the back of the vehicle. And then a back to front. So while we're down here, then I'll start with the U-shaped lounge at the back. Really, really good condition upholstery. So this, there's a fold away table there for dining. Put that away in the evening and then you've got a U-shaped lounge which gives you a nice, almost 360 view of the outside. One thing to note about this one is, this these sofas are six, six, uh, six foot, not six meters, six foot, so you can use this as two singles if you want to. If you want to make it into one bed, the slats pull out from the middle here, the cushions fold down and you get one huge transverse bed. As we go into the kitchen area, we've got three gas burners. Underneath that is an oven and grill. Your three-way fridge with the full-size freezer compartment at the top. And then your wash basin with chrome mixer tap. Heating is provided via the fireplace here and there are vents as well if you can see them at the end. And it's gas and electric heating. And it's the same on the water as well. It's gas and electric heat and gas and electric water. And we can see we've got a TV bracket here. And then there's extra shelves that can be used. One for sawing a telly on that side. And this side for food preparation. We go into the bathroom. So we've got a vanity mirror on the outside here. Trying to avoid myself being in shot. It's not possible because they put an extra mirror here. So you've got your, shower, your washroom. With your shower. And then you've got your wash basin folds away, and below that is your toilet cassette. Swall and all the inside of the vehicle is in really, really nice condition. If you want to ask any further questions or arrange a viewing, you can call myself, Paul, or Brian on 01623 63 11188. It's Rave Motorhomes, and thank you for watching.